pale jiro yeah. yeah okay uh that land uh, iko na shida juu ya shida you know people do not understand especially the residents who are there there is an order that was given from uh, from a certain uh, from a high court from Kisumu that they should uh, vacate before that first december so mubunge wao babu wino and kalauri as you know your place imeshikana jiro iko saidia embakasi na saidio pia ya kasarani so uh, wakati walienda kotini there was claim that that shamba si ya kirima and there is possibility the land does not belong to kirima but now there are questions they went to an italian guy who claims to be the owner and they came with some document to support that but now there are issues the land has issues and land has there are laws so our question was this demarco who came an italian guy and they said that they bought land, that land in 1966 that is three years after independence from an indian have they been paying your land rates Mm-hmm. Have they been paying land rates from 1966 up to today, so that they can show like ownership? How much does the government hold them? In a far, in a far, who are they paying up into the pale? And then the other question is, ni nani wamekuwa kiuza easy plots? That's the, that's the question. Nani wamekuwa kiuza easy plots? Na easy plots is gonna take it. You see, now when the court said that these people should vacate we start by saying we criticizing the decision of the court because we need to ask the court was supposed to say this kama like easy court zina kuanga uh, zinataka kujali mwananchi wa kawaida court zinasema hivi we need to know we are summoning wale ambao waliuza hizo hiyo land wakuje kwanza si ndio sababu land court inasema land ni ya kirima so court ingesema inge, inge, inge tuambi hivi wale ambao waliuza hiyo land tunataka kuwaona watuambie waliuza kwa ruhusa ya nani because demarco pia na yeye anasema akufanya nini he is not the one who sold this land aya ya tatu tujiulize lands eh, ministry of lands wamepeana original title deeds kwa hizo plot hiyo 5908 tofa kujiuliza okay walipeana hizo title deed from the mother title deed gani eh uh, subdivisions ilifanywa na surveyors wa gani and if these guys eh, when you wako na land pale wamekuwa kilipa land rates nani amekuwa kichukua hizo vitu but niliona ya kwamba they were saying they were not given title deeds they were saying they were given certificates first kuna kijana kitu ndio allotment number and then from there mnashikana mnaambiwa hii block mnakuwa under one certificate yeah yeah mnakuwa under one certificate so now this certificate ownership ya nani aliyoauthenticate hii also the certificate is almost like a title yeah 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 so nani aliyoauthenticate hii hiyo ndio inakuanga swali sababu plot dogo hazikuangi na title deed plot dogo za kuanga la allotment number under one title deed that's something people need to understand so now that's where investigation should start and uh, i'm happy uh, and i think court itasikiza isibomolee wale watu kwanza wapate justice but i'm just telling those guys eh, wenye wako pale wana wamejenga pale wame invest pale also our friends that now if if land idea see land see ya kirima idea ni are we in the best place kama wako mahali wanafaa was that land wako pale watawai furushwa because now dimarco if dimarco says these guys i don't know these guys what will happen to him so now it's a case on another case ni kama mtu wako na kanza alafu anapewa panado eh, maumivu inaisha kidogo yeah yeah at the end of the day i people are saying on the internet people are saying that these people would have done their due diligence to make sure that whatever piece of land they are acquiring is like si shamba iko na makesi Uh, it's true but now what happens uh, if like land tunaangalianga e land inauzwa na company flan so this company iko authorized to use these lands and then again we know that these companies they buy land and sell again for example 
kama ni moyo kuzia gari for example huwa na import gari na ninauzi kuzia gari that time na kuzia gari yenye sija import ama si yangu bado kuna possibility utani utanielewa you see uh, again uh, why is nairobi county wana receive land rates from lands that they do not know like kama iliuzwa kielali ama vitu zingine tuko na surveyors tuko na eh uh, lands board wa kuangalizo vitu so kuna up- why hizo vitu zikijengwa their engineers who normally come there national construction authority kuna watu kuja pale kuangalia building kijengwa from chini mpaka juu inapewana structure na approvals so kwa nini kazi yao ni kuangalia structure na approvals lakini waezi angalia the the, the the origin of that stuff so uh that's why most of the time trust now criticize watu wanasema tuna criticize government tuna criticize ministries but it is not being done the way it is supposed to be done for example ni kama for example wacha hata tutoke hapo ni kama gari ikipata accident you find the national transport uh, and safety authority uh, wana, wana, wanaandika wale watu wamekufa but uh, do they follow up hiyo gari ilikuwa na kina nani na uh, iko under insurance or these people were paid or not so we no, most of the time we focus on the nonsense tunakosa ku concentrate na ile kitu ya maana we are all kenyans when you are sick and you go to hospital or to a big hospital they tell you we want like to know uh, how you've been going to they ask you you've been going to hospital uh, umekuwa diagnosed na hii na maybe wanaweza kutia results za hospitali umekuwa at least waweze kujua ni nini inakukula you see we also need the government to have structures like these za kuangalia huyu mtu mashida ni kama tu bank ukienda kuitisha pesa wanaangalia kama umewahi kukopa umewahi kuwa na credit umewahi kukopa mahali ukosa kulipa hizo vitu zote wanaangalia so why mbona kwa lands speculation is that uh, people are saying that uh, maybe i don't know if it's the government allegedly whoever it is i don't know that maybe they are trying to resell the land again to the people to the settlers there yeah they start big population uh, possibility ni vile hatutaki kutaja watu sitaki kutaja mtu saa hizi ikifika time ya kutaja watu tutataja but now uh, kwa saa hizi because land imetoka kwa now kuna sasa tuna bargain between Kirima na Dimako so the next hapo ndo tutaanza kujiuliza but because the DCI we have a competent DCI we believe so wataingia pale waangalie 1 2 3 then ever alafu sio land hiyo peke yake kulikuwa hii ya mavoko uh, kulikuwa na land ya mavoko sasa hizi tunafaa kujiuliza hiyo land imechukuliwa na kina nani after watu kubomolewa na kufurushwa uh, na pia kuna land ya airport hapa kinene ya airport pale ilipotea land ni mingi mashida za land azishangi so uh, among ministries is very corrupt moja ni alliance yes yeah alafu sijui kama umeona the thing that is trending right now the thing about ids passports the increase <laughs> you know sisi si tulikuwa watu wazimio and we were very confident to tell people that uh, this man <laughs> by the name William Samuel Ruto you have munafaa kumuongopa ni mtu huwezi trust one wale watu ambao walikuwa nasoma na wale walikuwa wezi mpaka wale ni wezi you see kuna mtu ukikutana naye unajua this was my classmate alikuwa mwizi mpaka leo wezi muamini now tunaangalianga historia ya mtu Bef- Ruto became president in 1997 The, his friends uh, uh, his friends <laughs> wana peananga history yake he has never been straight and that is a fact uh, tuangalie ngi development record ya mtu and amejenga nini unajua sasa kama sasa hizi tunaweza sema babu wino today for example he is the best uh, he has been the best mp performing doing best tumefanya hivi amejenga so ni, ruto ruto alionyesha na nini amefanya hizo miaka zote ndio watu wa convince watu wa president si alikuwa naomba 
Okay sawa alikuwa maombi ni sawa na maombi yake ndio imemtoa pale ikamfikisha pale. Ni sawa tunakubaliana naye nayo but tunataka kitu evidence, tangible evidence. Utuambie nimejenga hii hospitali when I was this. Today watu wanasema Kalonzo Musyoka ako chini lakini anaoneshana jela alijenga akiwa deputy president. Mpaka tunaona hii jela yenyewe ndiye alijenga. Something ni nini Ruto alionyesha watu alifanya alijenga? So ni stories za jaba na watu wakajiingiza pale na ufumbavu yao. So watu watu wa kule kiburi yao. Na we are saying this eh 2027 there is possibility sisi wenyewe sababu watu walitupani sisi tukiwa tukiwaambia eh so so 2027 we are likely to join to punish watu wengine akiendi bure because sasa that's how dunia iko hivyo tu sasa id imetoka 100 to 2000 certificate ya marriage imetoka 5000 to 50000 50, sasa yani everything sasa so now ruto amekuja na system the country the kind of the, the country you are now ime, ime, in a system whereby if you are a fool you must die nirudie tena the system the current system ya UDA government imeko in a way that if you are a fool you must die now if you are a fool for example the government will allow you wende shakahola upeleke mali yako yote unyang'anywe uingizo kwa msitu na ukufe they don't care because you are a fool the government it allow wende ununue land yenye iko na title deed ama ina title deed wachukue land rate wakupige commission wakupe vitu fake na sababu wewe ni mjinga unafanya vitu kama hizo ukijua ni taratara yenye unafaa kufuata then usote na wakunyang'anya na ukufe ukitaka ukufe they don't care the government says me ban there was a, a bill in the parliament waki debate about local 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 medicine so wana, ni kama wana ban local medicine ile dawa unaweza changanyishiwa hapo ukunye na ukue poa yes wanataka ile wende ununue ile ya chemist na ile ingine so now wamekwambia NHF wamekuongezea so kama una NHF ukingojeka my friend na uko na ugonjwa kubwa you must die wamekupatia GMO kama uko na kanza ni booster ya kanza you die eh yako iende chini they don't care and that's how it is ukienda kotini kama una pesa ama like ujielewi vizuri utaharamiwa na mambo yako yani it's just the way it is now so ni system e system inasema hivyo so and that's why nakuuliza hivi we are paying uh, stima stima imepanda sana maji imepanda uh, uh, maji imepanda uh, rent imepanda bei ya chakula bei ya mafuta na everything lakini ile salary ulikuwa unapewa haijaongezeka in fact wamekata na wamekata tena payers one zimekata tena so what what does that mean inamaanisha it's a system that is being set so that if you are not smart then you must die see at utakuwa na shida you go kill yourself mapema na isamei na then wanangojea hiyo certificate yako ukikufa pia death certificate kuna pia tax iko pale yeah mafuta ukipelekwa nyumbani mahali unaenda kuzikwa kwa kata hapo they don't care it's just like that unapologetically yes sasa kwa sababu unajua za ndani sana na babako wapi kwa sababu tunaona amenyamaza sana na things are even worse than the time that tulikuwa tunaenda maandamano things are even getting worse uh, i was among the the young youths eh? when you tuna meet na tulikuwa tunaandikia wale tulikuwa tuna share ideas na tunawaandikia and then we share with them kina kioni na wengine wakati kulikuwa na hii maandamano hapo hivi and then uh, sisi tuli advise hii story ya maandamano kwanza iende chini because people are big 